Today we are going to learn how to conjugate one of the most important Urdu verb into eight different tenses. So hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Sara. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I teach Urdu as a second language to dramas, movies, songs, grammar, etc. If this is something that you might be interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you know someone who is learning Urdu, share the link with them. It would really motivate me. So last week I released a video where I conjugated the verb jana into eight important tenses. So today what I'll do is I'll take one of the most important verb in Urdu that is the verb to be, which is hona and conjugate it in eight important tenses. So these tenses are present simple, past simple, present continuous, past continuous, future, past perfect, present perfect, all of these tenses. I made a detailed video on all of these tenses on my YouTube channel. Here's the link to the playlist. You can click on it and watch the individual lesson. So we are not talking about the auxiliary verb, which is am, is, are, which is the verb to be. We are not talking about who, which is am, and he, which is are. We are not talking about that. We are talking about using it as a main verb and conjugating it as a main verb. So the sentence structure will be the same, will be there, which is I am, me, ho. And in between the subject and the verb, we'll put hona and we'll conjugate hona in eight different tenses. So the first tense is the present simple tense. So as you guys all know, present simple tense is about habits, routine, facts. Um, for example, I make videos on YouTube. That is my routine. That's my habit. That's a fact. So that is a present simple tense. So how we make the present simple tense is we take the dictionary form of the verb, infinitive verb, or whatever you call it, the original form of the verb, the infinitive verb, that is hona. We take the verb hona. And then what we do is we remove the na. When we remove the na, the thing that is left is called the verbal stem. Then what we do is we add different suffixes. We can add three suffixes. We can add ti, ta, or te. Ti, ta, and te. That is the suffixes for the present simple tense. So we're going to put it with the verbal stem. Ta is for single men. Ti is for single female or plural female. And te is for single men and plural men. So single men if you want to give him respect. So you'll say me hoti ho me hoti ho now this sentence doesn't really make sense on its own i am here me hoti ho i am so basically what you do is you have to add some things you have to add me australia me hoti ho me australia me hoti ho me australia me hoti ho i'm in australia so what it basically means is I am in Australia. I'm located in Australia. Main Australia mein hoti ho. Main ghar mein hoti ho. I'm usually at home. Main ghar mein hoti ho. Main dupehar ko ghar mein hoti ho. Main dupehar ko ghar mein hoti ho. Main dupehar ko ghar mein hoti ho. Me means I. Dupehar is afternoon. In the afternoon, dupehar ko ghar me in the house hoti ho. I'm in my house in the afternoons. Me dupehar ko ghar me hoti ho. If you're men, you'll say me raat ko ghar me hota ho. Me raat ko ghar me hota ho. Me raat ko ghar me hota ho. Rat ko means at night, ghar mein in the house. Main rat ko ghar mein hota hoon. So it's more common than saying main rat ko ghar mein hoon. Hota hoon is talking about their habit and routine. And this is more emphatic. This is more, this is better than not saying hona. 
for simplicity we are just using the pronoun me here so now we, what we're gonna do is move to the next tense which is the past habitual tense so past habitual tense is you talk about things that you used to do in the past. For example, I used to live in Morocco. I used to live in Morocco. Something you used to do, but you don't do anymore. Or I used to eat a lot of sugar. I used to eat a lot of sugar is also a past habitual tense. Why I teach past habitual tense with present simple tense is because they're very similar in construction suffixes are the same so for example the, in the present simple tense you had me ho but in the past habitual tense you'll remove the present tense element which is ho and replace it with thi for a female me thi i was i used to be me thi for a female me tha for men Meta. So let's take the main verb which is hona. Move the na and ho is a verbal stem. Same suffixes as the present simple tense, which is ti, ta, and te. Me hoti thi. Me hoti thi. Now this might be confusing because the suffix is ti and the end, the past element is thi they sound very similar right and it's very confusing i know i teach my students all day long so i know how difficult sound is so me hoti thi means i used to be i used to be me hoti thi me australia me hoti thi i used to be in australia me australia me hoti thi me australia me hoti thi Pichle saal me Australia me hoti thi. Pichle saal means last year. Pichle saal me Australia me hoti thi. Last year I was in Australia. I used to live in Australia. So this has much more nuanced meaning than just saying me Australia me thi. That also is fine. Me hoti thi is a better sentence. Me Australia me hoti thi. My human resources me hoti thi. I used to be in human resources. My human resources me hoti thi. Or you can say my dusre department me hoti thi. My dusre department me in another department hoti thi. Used to be. My dusre department me hoti thi. I used to be in another department. Suppose a man is singer. He will say. मैं दूसरी कंपनी में होता था मैं दूसरी कंपनी में होता था दूसरी मींस डिफरेंट अनदर डिफरेंट और अनदर सो इट ही इज सेइंग आई यूज्ड टू बी इन अ डिफरेंट कंपनी और आई यूज्ड टू बी इन अनदर कंपनी मैं दूसरी कंपनी में होता था आई यूज्ड टू बी इन अनदर कंपनी बट नाउ आई वर्क इन दिस कंपनी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टेंस व्हिच इज द प्रेजेंट कंटीन्यूअस टेंस Present continuous tense is a progressive action. It's also called pro uh, present progressive tense. So there are a lot of children who are cracking firecrackers uh, in the background, so you might hear that. Um, unfortunately, I cannot do anything about that. But let's move forward and ignore all the firecrackers. So, so the present continuous tense is I am working, I am going, I am doing that's present continuous tense so, hona is our verb the basic uh, sentence is me ho and the suffixes are rahi raha and rahe there are always three suffixes and uh, unless you are using the past simple tense in the past simple tense there are four suffixes but in present continuous tense rahi raha and rahe that is a progressive suffix so ho is our verbal stem we already established that what we are going to do is we are going to put rahi with ho so ho rahi main ho rahi hon 
मैं हो रही हूँ नाउ दिस इज नॉट मेकिंग सेंस एट ऑल सो एज यू गाइज प्रॉब्ली नो दैट होना इज यूज टू मेक मोर वर्ब्स वी एड एडजेक्टिव एंड नाउ विथ होना एंड फॉर्म अ वर्ब फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर वी आर गन यूज द वर्ब खुश होना खुश होना खुश होना इज टू बी हैप्पी खुश होना सो खुश इज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव होना इज टू बी सो टू बी हैप्पी मैं खुश हो रही हूँ आई एम बींग हैप्पी मैं खुश हो रही हूँ आई एम बींग हैप्पी यू कैन ऑल्सो से मैं उदास हो रही हूँ आई एम बींग सैड मैं उदास हो रही हूँ मैं उदास हो रहा हूँ मैं उदास हो रहा हूँ इफ़ यू आर मैन मैं बोर हो रहा हूँ आई एम गेटिंग बोर्ड बोर हो रहा हूँ मैं बोर हो रहा हूँ मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा हूँ आई एम गेटिंग सो बोर्ड मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा हूँ ना और नेक्स्ट टेंस इज ऑल्सो सिमिलर टू द प्रजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस इट इज़ द पास्ट कंटिन्यूस द एक्शन दैट वॉज हैपनिंग बिफोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉज वर्किंग वेन अ डोर मैन rang the bell or i was working when my friends were playing or something like that an action a progressive action that is happening that was happening in the past we're going to use the same verb khush hona and udas hona so the reason why i'm doing the past continuous with the present continuous is the suffixes are the same the suffixes are rahi raha and rahe the ending is different for example just like in the present simple in the past habitual so the same thing will happen here mai ho in the present continuous will change into mai thi in the pre- past continuous mai ho in the present continuous for men will change into mai tha in the past continuous so mai khush ho rahi thi मैं खुश हो रही थी मैं खुश हो रही थी दैट मीन्स आई वॉज बींग हैप्पी मैं खुश हो रही थी फॉर मैन इट वुड बी मैं खुश हो रहा था आई वॉज बींग हैप्पी मैं खुश हो रहा था मैं बोर हो रहा था मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा था वहाँ मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा था वहाँ मीन्स देर सो यू कैन पुट इट एनी वे इन द सेंटेंस वहाँ मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा था देर आई वॉज गेटिंग बोर्ड वहाँ मैं बहुत बोर हो रहा था वो गमगीन हो रहा था वो गमगीन हो रहा था गमगीन इज सैड इट्स इट्स लाइक वेरी वेरी सैड इट्स अनदर लेवल ऑफ सैडनेस लाइक ग्रीफ सो वो गमगीन हो रहा था ही वॉज बींग वेरी सैड वो गमगीन हो रहा था You can even use the English word sometime and say वो stressed हो रहा था वो stressed हो रहा था और मैं stressed हो रहा था I was being stressed. I was getting stressed. Now we're going to go to the future tense, an action that will happen in the future. So, in the future tense, we don't say हो or थी So हो is the present element, थी is the past element. Both of these elements are not needed. instead we use the future tense element which is gi ga and ge now again a reminder i made lessons on each of these tense in detail so you can go to the playlist if you want to watch these videos so gi ga and ge is the future tense element hona is a verb so ho is our verbal stem and the suffix is ungi for female and unga for men me hongi me hongi i'll be there me waha hongi me waha hongi i'll be there me waha honga i'll be there me park me honga me park me honga i'll be in the park me khada honga I'll be standing there. Khada hona is to be standing. So me vaha khada honga. I'll I'll be standing there. Me vaha khada honga. Me vaha baithi hongi. I'll be sitting there. Me vaha baithi hongi.
मैं वहां बैठी होंगी मैं वहां इंतजार कर रही होंगी I'll be waiting there. Now, this is another like a complex sentence, right? Intizar karna is to wait. I'll be waiting there. Main intizar kar rahi hongi. I will be waiting there. Main intizar kar rahi hongi. Main intizar kar raha honga. If you are men. Main intizar kar raha honga. Main khush hongi. I'll be happy. Main khush honga. I'll be happy. Now we're going to move to the next tense, which is the past simple tense. The past simple tense is the action that happened in the past. So I went to the mall, I worked, I ate. That is the past simple tense. So in the past simple tense in Urdu, we have to kind of realize and we have to identify the kind of verb that we are using. Hona is an intransitive verb. So when the intransitive verb is used, the subject controls the verb. So the verb endings depend on the subject, gender and number. So for example, I'm one female, so the subject ending will be E. So the suffixes are E for female and R for men. Ho is our verbal stem. And what we are going to do, we're going to put suffix here. So e is our suffix. Hui, hui, happened. Me khush hui. Me khush hui. I became happy. Me khush hui. Me khush hui. Me udas hui. I became sad. Me me udas hui. Me ghamgin hui. I became sad. I hope that you don't have to use so many words for sad. Next word is. बोर बोर होना बोर मैं बोर हुआ मैं बोर हुआ मैं वहाँ बहुत बोर हुआ मैं वहाँ बहुत बोर हुआ आई बिकेम सो बोर देयर मैं वहाँ बहुत बोर हुआ मैं एग्जिबिशन में बहुत बोर हुआ इन द एग्जिबिशन आई वॉज सो बोर एग्जिबिशन इज नुमाइश सो यू कैन ऑल्सो से मैं नुमाइश में बहुत बोर हुआ मैं नुमाइश में बहुत बोर हुआ मैं घर में बहुत बोर हुआ आई वॉज बोर्ड एट होम मैं घर में बहुत बोर हुआ मैं छः बजे फारग हुआ मैं छः बजे फारग हुआ फारग होना इज़ टू बी और टू गेट फ्री छः बजे इज़ सिक्स ओ क्लाक मैं छः बजे फारग हुआ मैं छः बजे फारग हुआ आई बिकेम फ्री एट सिक्स और आई गेट और आई गॉट फ्री एट सिक्स मैं छः बजे फारे हुआ आवर नेक्स्ट टेंस इज़ द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस इज समथिंग दैट हैज हैपन एट द पास बट इज स्टिल हैव कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज लाइक इज स्टिल इज रेलिवेंट टू द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट इट्स द सेम एज द पास सिंपल टेंस द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सेम एट लीस्ट द एंडिंग इज डिफरेंट सो वी आर गोइंग टू पुट हो इन द एंड Um, to give it a present uh, effect main khush hui hu i have become happy main khush hui hu or you can say main farigh hui hu i became free so main farigh hui this uh, it is the same as the past simple and then you'll put hu main main farigh hui hu main abhi abhi farigh hui hu main abhi abhi farigh hui hu That means I just became free. Abhi abhi means just. Me abhi abhi fare hui ho. If you're a man, you'll say me abhi abhi fare hua ho. Me chhe baje fare hua ho. I became free at six. Me chhe baje fare hua ho. Me chhe baje fare hua ho. I just became free at six. Do you have any question? Now before we move to the next tense I want to give you a challenge I'm going to give you a few verbs and or you can choose any verb that you really like and conjugate it in eight different tenses in the comment section I'll check it and see if you've learned anything from this video I hope that you're learning a lot Let's move to the next tense The next tense is a past perfect tense 
So the past perfect tense is very similar to the past simple tense actually. So what you'll do is you'll put a past element. So a past element is like thi, tha and the. I think you remember that. And the first half of the sentence is going to be the same. So me fare hui thi. Me suba fare hui thi. Me suba fare hui thi. I had gotten free in the morning. Me suba fare hui thi. Are you ready for a little complex sentence? So, uske jane ke baad, uske jane ke baad, main udas hui thi. Uske jane ke baad. So, uske means his, jane means departure, going. Ke baad is after. So, after his departure, after his going. Uske jane ke baad. Uske jane ke baad, main udas hui thi. I had, I had gotten sad. Uske jane ke baad, main udas hui thi. I was so sad after he or she was gone. So uske can be he or uske can be she. It is not clear who the person is. We just kind of figure it out from the context. To watch more videos like this, I made two videos in the past conjugating one verb into eight tenses if you want to have a private lesson with me i teach on these websites other than urdu i also teach english and physiology i have a master's degree in physiology so i teach physiology and anatomy as well i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you later goodbye